Invincible Season 2, Episode Number 1. Ladies and gentlemen, we're here to next week's episode of Invincible. I guess the Adam Eve special technically was Season 2, but we're here to Season 2, Episode 1, the official first episode of Season 2, I guess. I don't know how it works. You guys get what I'm saying. But I'm here for it. I'm excited for it, dude. Obviously, Season 1 of an Invincible was fantastic. I would dare say some of my favorite television that I've seen to date. Again, I mentioned it last week when I was watching the Adam Eve special. This show just feels like Saturday morning cartoons, but for adults. And I can't put my finger on another animated show that has done that for me in my adulthood. Like when I'm watching this, I feel like a kid again, man. And it, it, I don't know how to explain it, dude. Maybe you guys feel a similar way, but we ended season one. Mark's dad, obviously omni man dipping off of planet after destroying mark is he going back to his home planet to kind of plan an invasion what's gonna happen i don't know but it seems like overall we're gonna be recruiting a bunch of different superheroes to kind of prepare for that you know in case the viltrumites do come or even if it's just omni man right because obviously mark couldn't beat him by himself and i doubt you know even if we throw a bunch of superheroes together it's gonna take a whole ass army to take him down so i'm here for it i'm excited for it but guys I'm going to stop wasting time. We're going to go ahead. We're going to hop into this episode. Before we do, I do ask if you guys are new to the channel, you do hit that subscribe button. Comment down below what you guys want to see next, man. Drop a like on the video for your boy. Full reaction will be up on Patreon as well as early access to the next two episodes. You guys want to check that out. Link in the description down below. But we're going to go ahead. We're going to hop into this episode. Let's see what we got, man. Oh, we're going to have a big recap, huh? Thank you. It's about time. Someone Fucking murdered the of the globe last night. Tore him limb from limb, but no one was the only survivor. The new guardians of the globe, Black Samson. It was cool how we saw Black Samson before he was hurt in uh, the Adam Eve special. I don't give a shit about Bill Trump. This is my home, and I won't let you destroy it. I gotta watch season Will one again, man. After 500 years. I still have you. Yeah. Damn, dude. Ah, season one was so good. I got to rewatch season one. I'm so happy to be back here. Adam Eve is strong as shit too, bro. Like I, like, I feel like in her special when she was younger, we saw more of her potential than she has now. Like, <coughs> I feel like she don't be doing as much crazy shit now. Damn. <laughs> I've been hit harder before. They brought him back to life again? Probably practicing, right? Yep. This dude just can't be killed. I mean, we saw how long he's been around for. Immortal. Oh. After what Omni Man did. After what you did. Oh shit. Was that Omni Man? That looked like a red cape. Yep. Shit! He's back. Oh my god. Again, damn! Same shit. What the fuck? I thought he'd see the truth. Like you did. What? No. <coughs> we know. You all feel like we're the bad guys because my dad and I took over your planet. No. But you are going to be part of the Viltrum Empire now. This has to be like a, a nightmare or maybe what his dad wanted with Mark, right? And if you still think you can stop us, don't forget, I'm invincible. Damn. People of Earth. And it just keeps playing. That's so funny. I remember they always did that and they would cut to the, the title screen. I don't know. This is pretty intricate. Angstrom. Did this really happen? The immortal let them away. We're safe. Yeah. Wow. That's what Rex thought too. Eve, did you retrieve what the, the null fuck? energy? If this doesn't make Omni Man have a bad day, nothing will. <laughs> Dude, robot. <coughs> that boy looking crazy. So much happened, so much time passed. Robot. Oh. This will be his kryptonite. Did that do anything to him? Yeah. 
I think the the orbital laser beam they had last season did more than that. You too will die. Sure, but you should have died at birth. Damn. Dude, I forgot how crazy this show is, man. No way this happened. Stop this, or I stop you. Please. I'd rather die. What? Eve, I would never kill you, but I can't let you hurt anyone else. So he kills her. She's not dead. Huh. Just paralyzed. Wow. Huh. So that's what you were practicing on those protesters last week. What? I couldn't figure it out. Yeah, I've got some people who'll take care of her. Dude, this is fucked. I missed lunch because of that riot in Bangkok. Yeah, way ahead of you. Oh, shit. What the hell was that? A portal or something? Eh, who cares? Dude, there's no way this is real. <clears throat> there's no way it's real. Mark was smiling and everything. I don't care how much time passed. There's no way this would actually happen. I'm calling bullshit. Damn, that's crazy. Big ass wave to put the fire out. Small stuff like that though, right? I say small, but it's really not small. Yeah, there's the elephant dude. We never saw him last season, but they talked about him. Ah, we saw Mark carrying him. Yeah, so none of that actually happened then. No way that's going to be. Yeah, Mark didn't have to help with that one. But, dude, like, could you imagine if Mark was on board with his dad? They would be unstoppable. Like, that would be some insanity. Crews have been hard at work rebuilding the city that had been so devastating. His, his mom. Yeah. It's gotta be hard for her, dude. It. Love of her life. You don't have to go back if you're not ready. <laughs> Neither do you. Damn, both going back into the world is themselves, right? I wonder how the people at school are going to receive Mark, right? We barely gave you a concussion. That means we like you. That means you're a friend. That means when we break out of here again, we don't kill you. As long as you keep us in good food, which you're currently not. Don't try to bargain with me. We've got security turned up to 100 on you two. New cameras, new guns, new doors. That don't matter. They'll find a way. Did you? Oh, uh, yeah. I this is that portals. same portal that opened up I mention that? under that dude, right? Don't worry. This isn't your world. My name is Angstrom Levy. Let me guess. You can open portals between dimensions. I mean, I don't like to brag. Mm. But not within the same dimension. Hmm. Why do you think that? Because we're walking. I don't hurt people. I don't kill people. I only use my power for good. Now, working with the two of you is a real ethical and moral stretch for me, but I don't have a choice. Now, I can't force you to help me. But I can't leave you here. But I will leave you here forever if you don't, or somewhere worse. I really like these two characters, man. The twins, they're unique. That and their theme music that plays all the time is good. Mark, The Grace. bully. Todd, listen. I... <clears throat> Oh. I'm uh, sorry your dad got exploded. Mm. Oh, uh, thanks. Damn, that's right. But I don't really want to. That sucks, man. <sighs> totally sucks. Talk about it. I forgot. That's the cover-up story they used that he died in the explosion, right? So his book sales would spike. See, I'm not an asshole. I'm not an asshole. <laughs> Most of the time, bullies are dealing with their own shit. I'm part of the problem. I'm the reason all those people in Chicago died. Wait a second. I, I shouldn't be here. I should be out there, making up for all my mistakes. You didn't kill those people, Mark. Omni-Man did. But I didn't save them. Mm. You stopped your dad and saved the planet, and it almost killed you. You don't owe anyone anything. It would have been much worse. You know, Omni-Man could have kept going, but he left because of Mark. I need to do more. It's only been a month, Mark. Focus on your mom. 
your grades, your girlfriend. You want to go to college with Amber, right? You can't do that if you don't graduate. I don't need your permission to be a superhero. You know who else said that to me? I'm not my dad. I'm not my dad. Man needs counseling. And today's sponsor, BetterHelp. Imagine. <laughs> the Guardians could use some help. They could really use. <coughs> Invincible. <laughs> no title screen this time. Eight year old what? Damn. Mean uppercut. Damn, right in the eye. Samson. He, he needs to go down. Now. That's an excellent suggestion, Samson. There's a multi-level parking garage beneath this intersection. There's probably people down there. I don't know about that one. That might be a bad idea. Without endangering civilians. Oh shit. You okay? I'm I'm not sure. I couldn't move. My heart was racing. I was all sweaty. Why are you laughing? That's fear. Before all this was just a video game for you. Now you're here, in person, playing for real. It's a big difference. Don't worry, you'll get used to it. She untransformed and then transformed again just to tell him that when every time she transforms, she gets younger. You can't get it worse. I bet you can't. What's this thing's seat? A hundred? Yes, a hundred, but... The connectome buffers crash out. I thought I had enough. Mm, that's not gonna cut it. You'll need twice as many processing units. Ha <laughs> ha! This is exactly why I broke you both out of prison. What's in it for us? Yep. And no more bullshit about stranding us in some other dimension. There's an infinite number of dimensions. Mm. And I was born with the ability to access all of them. That's what we saw, right? Most other dimensions, they teamed up and took over the planet. That's what we You're saw. You're kidding. And we're the bad guys. Wow. Now what's important is that each dimension has something unique and valuable. Multiverse type shit. All our problems, famine, war, climate change, cancer, have been solved somewhere else. And I can be the conduit of that knowledge. He's like, what's in it for me still? Meet the family. Oh, shit. Yeah, we saw a different version of him. Help me do this and I'll give you any single dimension you want. As long as you promise not to hurt anyone. Oh, this is the dude who got portaled out last second. From what we saw at the start, that's crazy. So he's like he who remains, essentially. Nah, eh, not really. Kind of. Maybe. A little bit. In Marvel. Debbie. <laughs> Shit. I've been waiting for you. Olga. Nah, the back door was open, so I let myself in. You like Stroganov, yes? Bitch. Why are you in my house like that? I thought she was going to ask about what happened with her red rush, right? You can be sad and <laughs> angry at the same time. That's how I felt after burying Joseph. Nolan killed so many people. He almost killed Mark. Said I didn't matter, that I was a pet. 20 years, 20 years, and I was a goddamn fucking pet. I have to go back to Moscow in a few days, but... Uh, what's this? Something that helped me. I don't think it's like therapy or some. You can't help him. Until you help yourself. I'm Very fine. true. Really, oh. Olga, I'm fine. She seems like she has good intentions, but I'm sus of her. Unprepared, undisciplined. Take I like that they review their the fight footage. Pays the price. Hey, we put our necks on the line every single day. Shut up, Rex. Yeah. It's not about you. And I'm instituting a change. Oh shit! The immortals now in charge. A couple thousand years of experience should turn things around. Meet bulletproof. Bulletproof. Oh. Hey. <laughs> Sizing him up. Amazing. Ho ho. It's just a whole afternoon of new friends. Bulletproof. <laughs> I mean, Mark's name's I do invincible. Everything you wish you could. And that's rich coming from a guy called Rex Splode. <laughs> you think of that grade school shit yourself? Or did somebody help you with that? <laughs> I. I Yep, shut him down. Somebody to match Rex and his fucking personality, man. Cecil's right. My leadership has been suboptimal, and that's a problem. And like any problem, it needs to be fixed. Mm. I mean, dude took on a body, took on a relationship, and took on being leader all at once. <laughs> but it's cool, Immortal's back. I know they were putting him back together and whatnot. 
Eve! Yeah. Otherwise, life out in the woods is good. Maybe a little lonely, but I don't mind. When I was a kid, I always wanted to be my dad. What if that happens? Uh. What if I become him and I don't even know it? That he's afraid of. You're not your dad, Mark. We all know that. The whole world knows that. Cecil doesn't. So prove him wrong. Earn that trust, man. Crazy. Like, I, I mean, you see, he's willing to talk with Eve about that kind of thing, but not really Amber. Which kind of makes sense. Mark, it's not a good... I'll work for you. I'll follow orders. I'll let you make all the calls. Just put me back out there. Mm. Sir, energy levels just went off the chart. Someone get this kid an earpiece. He gonna join the Guardians? Or is he gonna work just directly under Cecil, really? I wonder how Immortal would feel working with Mark. 1,000 minds synchronized. Your throne. Dude, I don't know. This feels like it might, it's this is something that would fry his brain. Once we start the process, it's impossible to stop. Oh. At these power levels, severe brain damage would be the least of your problems. Oh. I understand. And Mark's about to get here, huh? What happens to the other people? Do they like, are their brains like fried or drained or what? Yep, yep that's why. That's why, you idiot. Uh... Spit it out, kid. Okay, there's like a giant mechanical Christmas tree with like a bunch of the same guy sitting on it and some portals and the maulers and... It doesn't matter, just stop them. Oh. Hey, shut it down or I take it down. Make us. You have no idea how much I wanted you to say that. He's looking for a fight. Oh shit. Who's he bringing? Oh, more maulers? Oh my god, those ones are weird. Help your brothers. You were using other us's? Damn. You said we were special. <laughs> Makes sense, right? Damn! That one kind of looks like an immortal mauler. Hey, that looks like Mr. T. There's a female mauler, too. Damn. Mark getting his ass beat. He's going to have to go into his crazy mode. Damn. Enjoy the show. Oh my god, Mark's about to get killed again, damn near. Oh shit, he could cause braze damage, they said. Oh shit. Dude, what? Oh my god, you saw the blood splash out there? I mean, so what, Mark's the only one who survives that? I mean, you say you won't build it with blood, but you essentially just killed yourself, all those duplications of yourself or other versions, and all the Mahler twins. But I kind of get it because, like, like you said, he didn't want his empire to be built on bodies. Dude, so are the Maulers really gone? No, they're going to be back. I guess he really is invincible. <laughs> Look, I, I don't know what they were up to, but I'd say you stopped it pretty fucking he didn't. spectacularly. I can't believe I'm saying this, but listen to Rex. Whatever they were planning, you stopped them. This is what happens when you follow my orders. We did good today. Do you understand me? He doesn't want blood. That's what it is. But this is sometimes this is what it means to be a hero. You know, death is going to happen. I'll make dinner. No, you don't have to. I can order. I want to. Three plates still. Congratulations on being accepted to Upstate University, Miss Bennett. Miss Bennett, wait, this is yours. What do you want it to say? I wanted to say that we're going to college together. Oh my god. I got in. I got in. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <sighs> you thought it was his dad, huh? Cecil thinks you're on our side. I'm not so sure. Hmm. Damn, bro. You ain't have to stop by just to tell me that. But that's what I talked about at the start, too. Oh, damn, that's the end. That's what I talked about at the start, too, when I didn't even realize it was the other universe that, you know, it makes sense that he, he wouldn't have trusted him. Oh. Damn. Are these arm maulers? Take off the damn helmet. Oh. I mean, as long as one survived. How are you even breathing? Is that his brain? What did he do to me? 
You did that to yourself. And this to me. He killed so many. People are they all combined? I people I loved. Millions died because of him. Your brain scrambled. Because of Invincible and Omni-Man, right? I need to make him pay! Invincible. I won't rest until I kill! Yeah, there's the title screen. Wow, look at that. Just all red. Oh my god. Now we're going to see cracks, dude. Last season it was more blood. Are we going to see more and more cracks now? Oh, shit. Just had half my body melted helping you mutilate yourself. One mauler's alive, so that means, you know, they can just duplicate themselves. I told you they'd be back. Wow, dude. And so maybe that's going to be the supervillain for this season. Maybe Omni-Man doesn't even come back, right? Because <coughs> I think that dude has supervillain potential, right? Not like a one-off villain. I'm going to leave this playing in the background in case there's any after credits. But season two, episode one of Invincible is in the books, ladies and gentlemen. What an episode, man. I absolutely love this show. It feels so good to be back in it. Like watching the Adam Eve special, it felt good being back in this universe. But watching this, you know, the first episode with all of our characters, we are really back in it. And dude, that's so crazy to know. It's literally, you know, kind of similar to He Who Remains with the Marvel storyline and Loki and everything, you know, all the duplications of him and stuff and all the different timelines. You know, this guy can obviously go to different universes, but that's scary to think that there's multiple universes out there where mark did join his dad like who the fuck stops them ever right like i just until they die which how literally <laughs> so long for that to happen right i forget how long he said but they're not you know immortal they don't live forever by I, I know it's a long ass time for them to die man but you see all the shit mark's going through it makes sense right not not only is he a young teen which you know it's already hard enough being a young teen at at that age with the things you feel the things you're going through trying to figure out your way in the world but also just everything that happened with his dad just layers on top of it you know he's trying to figure out who he is as a person who he is as a superhero you know is he going to be like his dad getting the trust of people of cecil and whatnot and i mean it's cool that immortals back and him as the leader of the team i think will help for sure uh, cause the team definitely did feel a little young other than black Samson. And then the new character bulletproof, obviously I'm assuming he's, he's bulletproof and he can take a lot of damage, but I am curious as to what else, what else he can do with his powers, man, regardless a fantastic episode, fantastic show. I know Eve doesn't want to be a part of the guardians, right? She said that and she's kind of doing her thing, but it's cool to see she's back at school again. I feel like she's strong as shit. I know we saw her in the other universe and she got fucked up, but literally what we saw from her in the adam eve special dude i feel like she is strong as hell and i feel like she's just nerfed you know what i mean like i feel like she has potential to be one of the strongest heroes but i feel like they just nerfed her for whatever reason man i don't know i feel like she's so weak and invincible but even just in the adam eve special she looks so strong maybe it's the people she was going up against i don't know but she was even young back then hadn't mastered her powers regardless fantastic episode super excited to continue this man again i don't think part two of season two has dropped yet but by the time i get up to uh episode four and finish that i think it'll be out so we'll be able to just kind of glide right on into it but guys let me know what you thought about it in the comment section down below like always if you guys enjoyed this reaction video make sure to leave a like if you guys are new to the channel hit that subscribe button for reaction to be up on patreon as well as early access to the next two episodes you guys want to check that out link in the description down below i hope you all have a wonderful day and i'll see you in the next one what is going on guys i hope you all did enjoy that video you just checked out if you did, make sure to drop a like and comment down below. What is something you guys want to see me react to next on the channel? I want to give a couple quick shout outs to some of my highest tier supporters over on Patreon, man. Shout out to the homie That's So Gordo, the homie Alexander Collins, and the homie Christopher Larimer. Your guys' support is much appreciated. If you guys haven't already and you do want to join the Patreon family, the link is on screen right now, as well as in the description down below. You get early access to a bunch of videos up to two, sometimes even three weeks in advance, full length reactions, and you get to participate in polls to help decide what we do and what we react to on the channel. But I hope you guys all have a wonderful day, and I'll see you in the next one.